I had never thought about serving a mission um, until, well, and it doesn't have to mention anything in your patriarchal blessing. I wouldn't say that's why I chose to serve, but in the very, very ending of, it was like finishing my blessing, saying, okay, now read it often, you know, look for answers. And then there's just this random line that said, and if you want, you can go serve a mission. And then it continued and ended. <laughs> so, uh, I, for the first time I thought, well, maybe, maybe one day I'll serve a mission, but it was still kind of a, an out there side of the thing. And, um, I took a, um, I was in college. I had just, um, finished, uh, I had just decided to, uh, go a different way with my education. Um, and that took me to BYU Idaho. Um, I switched colleges and up there. And I took a class on the New Testament. Um, and now I was 20, and so thinking about a mission is more in your mind. The age hadn't changed yet <laughs> um, to serve for girls. Um, and I, uh, in that New Testament class, uh, for the first time, I had a really strong reason why I should serve. Um, in that class, I uh, learned more about the Savior, obviously, and I realized how much He loved me. Um, and I realized that if God loves me that much, uh, there's people, everyone in the entire world, He loves them just as much as He loves me. Um, and I thought, you know, I want to serve a mission because I want to help all of those people make it back to live with him just as much as he wants me to make it back. Um, and so then I uh, was very determined and made my decision that I was going to serve a mission. So I finished that semester. I went home. I was looking for a job. I couldn't find one. I had about a thousand dollars in the bank and it was time for me to put my papers in. I went to my dad and he said, uh, well, I, I was talking with him and I was like, Dad, I don't have money for this yet. And he said, well, you do everything you can, put in your papers, and uh, whatever happens, happens. Well, you'll be able to go on a mission. Uh, so I put my papers in. Uh, I got my papers. Uh, I got my call on March 18th. Uh, I didn't do the traditional line by line thing. I opened it up and I screamed out Peru and <laughs> that was it. I knew where I was going, but I still only had a thousand bucks in the bank. Uh, and it was no more than two weeks later, I got a job uh, that paid for the rest of my mission. <laughs> I had five months before I left. I didn't leave until August, uh, August 11th. I reported to the MTC, but uh, I just relied on the Lord. I prayed to Him and I said, I know I'm supposed to go on a mission and you know I need $7,600, so take care of it. <laughs> and I did everything I could and He took care of it and uh, I went into the Provo MTC on August 11th. <laughs>